we interrupt this program with a special report. I got a message for all you folks out there in Radio Land. So sit tight and bend an ear. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Manga Monday Show. Uh, my name is Edgar. I have my co-host here, as always. Ben. Ben! Yep. It's here. Thanksgiving has passed. Black Friday was pretty uneventful. Yes. At least because, like, you know, even if you... I, I mean, not not only did I not go, but I heard I wasn't missing out because, like, the sales were, like, not even sales. It's not even, like... the Black Friday is not even Black Friday anymore. Not even Cyber Monday. I kept seeing, like, emails even today saying, Oh, Black Friday extended! I'm like, <laughs> what is, like... Should we even call it Monday or Friday anymore? Like, like what's the point of these deals if we're just going to extend them for an entire week's worth? Yeah. It just takes the fun out of everything. No. Let alone the prices. They're not even, like... They jacked them up the week before, and then they mm-hmm. and then they lower them back. Well, down. they've been slowly jacking them up for the past two months just to drop them by like a dollar percent. Yeah, like not like, even yeah. they don't even want to like try it. Like no, definitely. You know. There was a good sale going on at Barnes and Noble for manga though. It was buy one get one half one a half off, but it was only for mangas that I already had, and they were like. Oh, I was like, oh, what, what mangas do you, you know? And they were like, Chainsaw Man. I went, uh-huh, I already have. Demon Slayer, uh-huh, every single one. And he went, uh, My Hero Academia, uh-huh, uh-huh, every single one of them, uh-huh, uh-huh. And she went, My Vigilantes, too. And I went, yep, I have all of them, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. And she was like, uh, there was one other I forgot that was uh, that she did had. And then she was like, well, do you have this? jojos and i was like well that's fascinating that you say that because i have nowhere i have no idea where to begin with jojos because it looks like there are five volume twos and i'm like what what do we what do we, like where do i start here you, you start from part yeah. one but it even then let's like starting they're like hardcover and they're a bit pricier and, yeah no, definitely. and then that's like getting into like a whole new series that you you weren't anticipating to get into yeah. no yeah i no, i'm I, I mean when i do get into jojos i'm gonna be watching it because the memes that came from it you have to watch it yeah and know? i hear the anime is really good David yeah production is the same people who do fire force yeah and if i really like it then i buy the manga volumes yeah. and i'll maybe peruse it at night but yeah. um but yeah not much not much going on this black friday uh yeah i didn't do anything i just uh i just went to my parents uh hmm. wedding uh um anniversary reception and ceremony yeah. really great uh it's fun seeing all the i was in the room and realized like wow i know all these people because like my parents know all these people so it's just so bizarre to see that yeah. all my uh my parents friends and then my family members and a few of my friends are there uh really fun time uh but that's uh anything else have been going on with you um no this past, i mean it's been a while since we've recorded it this has podcast. been a while but i've just been focusing on school um other than that I was I was thinking about, you know, I was thinking about the anime season and stuff like that and we've just been a little bit behind. Yeah, Once, we, we apologize for that. We yeah. keep saying like we'll have to catch up, but not only do we But it's not but have it's time, really but... hard. We we record on Wednesday and one of the shows comes out on Tuesday and another comes out on Wednesday. It's really unfortunate how uh how the animes are coming out at different times, you know? Even then, it, we just, like, we well, just... Well, it would be great if... It, it slips could, through our fingers, yeah. and we're like, oh, I just been... I feel like it, if it all came out on one day, I would I would watch all of it. But it kind of... I kind of just feel all over the place, and then I miss it, and I'm like... And then Saturday rolls around, and I'm like, oh, well, you know, I might as well just catch it up, catch up on Chainsaw Man on Tuesday, you know? And then I'm like, ugh. And then I forget, and I'm like, oh, my God, Blue Lock is going on right now. And then we're reading manga, and too. You were reading, and... and um, the World Cup is going on as well, and that's taking up a lot Football of my time, you know. Um, um, but, yeah, I, I think – I just think that when eventual Spy Family, Mob Psycho, and Chainsaw Man are going to drop out because there are only 12 episodes, uh, it's going to be easier to talk about My Hero Academia and Blue Lock when those continue on yeah. forward. Um, it's been really great. I've been watching a few clips from the dub 
that sounds really great for Blue Lock. Um, Blue Lock, yeah. Yeah, Blue Lock, that sounds great. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's going to be... It's going to be interesting. Interesting to see and all that stuff. Um, other than that, I started reading... I took a break from Black Clover. I haven't been reading it in a week and a half. I just don't have that spur to to get forward. I will eventually. I don't know. I th- I'm thinking of streaming on my channel... That way, like, people will force you to watch it. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. I'm thinking of streaming on my channel and being like, "I'm I'm reading a hundred chapters of Black Clover today, and nobody's gonna stop me." Yeah, you know, um, that's the every idea. like every chapter I read. <laughs> every <laughs> like, there's a chapter I read. Yeah, you know, but um, yeah, but I I'm still trying to figure that out because you got to be careful when you're reading manga on uh, on stream because you don't want to. You need to find a way that the audience is able to figure out what where you are in the story what you're reading and stuff like that and read it with you but you also need to have you know uh, people who are who are uh copyright scanners they're not like caught on to it but um other than that last night i began my journey well journey it's gonna be a really short journey especially since i'm an eighth of the way of what i need to read uh quintessential quintuplets let's yeah, go yeah, yeah, yeah. and the world celebrated yeah. ben has picked a peak i'm just kidding uh, yeah uh, but <laughs> it's because yeah. like um uh i had um i've wanted what i ha- what i had in mind is that my other friend who watches this uh who reads this series and mm-hmm. likes it a lot um I, our dream plan was to like um you know either w- they come over here and we watch it. I can't. I can't come over there. I just. I just don't have that much of the time. I don't have the money to do that. Yeah. Uh, at least not right now. But um, you can record I, it on. I mean, you guys could. Well, like, it online, we, yeah, yeah, we said that. But then he. He's like, there's like no theaters in his area. He lives in San Antonio, and apparently there's like no theaters within like 20 miles or like more what? than that. And I don't think he has a car, so he's mm. not able to uh, watch it relatively soon. Oh wow. So I'm like. Ugh. And I was wanting to watch it like pretty soon because I and and I can't wait that long. Even then, they're not even showing it for like I think more than a week. No, like here, no. which really sucks. Um, no, but not, uh, yeah. so I just I thought I was like, "Hey Ben, it's just gonna be me. I'm just gonna record. I'm gonna watch the movie. I'm gonna record the thing, and then I yeah. just I want you to like post it and whatever." And then he's like, um, "When does it come out?" I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> it comes out like a uh, Friday." And I'm like, "Uh." I probably read it by then. I'm like, yeah, it's only are you, are you like yeah. really. I'm like, I'm like, it's like only a hundred uh, chapters. I I do that in my sleep. 80, 84, uh, 84. It's not that bad. Like I'm, I'm reading uh, only eighty four because that's where the movie you know picks up. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could finish it. I just feel like it would be less taxing on you. Like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Uh, are we watching it dub or sub? Sub. Do you know? Sub. Okay. Yeah. The dub. Is the dub okay. even at? Uh Oh, is it even going to be out? I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, it will. It will oh, be it out. Will. Okay, okay. Um, but the sub comes up first. I know. I know. Arm the a- voice actor for Armin and Sukiyomi. Yeah, Josh Quirrell. Uh, uh, Futuro, the main character, the main Futuro, guy. What's his last name that they keep calling? U- Ugomi. Uh, uh, Usugi. Usugi. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Uh, that's that's why U- Usugi. I think that's probably uh, how you pronounce it. But I Usugi. Uh, yeah. uh, that's why I've been calling him by because that's. I what, just call him yeah. Futuro. I don't know because that's like. I know. I, I mean, think I think all four girls yeah. call him Futuro, and then like I think only one of them calls him. Usugi. I think I think uh, uh, Nano uh, no, Nino Nino. I think she calls him Usugi. Uh, uh, well, she's not. I don't know. I think I think the version him. I'm reading. I think they call him Usugi, but because uh, uh, that's just what I'm what I'm doing. It's just interesting. But this is so weird. Yeah. Like it's your first romance. Like real. Like uh, well, it's your first harem. Yes, I watched a couple of episodes of Horror Mia just because. My oh friends, yeah, Horror Mia, Horror Mia. My yeah, friends yeah, yeah. were in it, but I mean. But this is like a different breed. This it's is a, oh, this is a different breed. And we're, gonna, <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna talk about my first impressions just real quick. <laughs> but because uh, there's a lot going on, and I'll tell you why I think that way from a story context. But oh, that's hilarious. But th- it's fascinating because my main uh, source of romance in anime has come from m- most shonen have romance. 
but it's not it's obviously not a focal point and it's kind especially of especially in shonen it's like yeah. it, it just keeps you interested like a, ooh spicy yeah. in this action battle yeah. and sometimes it. people are people dislike it because they think that the female is seen as a trophy uh even though a lot of times i think that's not the case uh, but i can see how that's taken that way I usually can see... it, they tend to be written off as just like yeah. a love interest and that's pretty much it yeah i think and i think a lot of times that people have been trying to to rectify that i know that uh, naruto i know that hinata is that her name hinata is she, yeah i know that she's supposed to be kind of like a kind of supposed to be just the love interest you know yeah uh, i mean i hear she has her moments but yeah. what, what drives me insane when, in those situations because i love a good romance story yeah. and i hate it when they like set it up yeah and then nothing happens until oh last chapter they end up together i'm like yeah no no uh, <laughs> you oh, you can't just do that oh I, dr stone <laughs> oh, oh my god L the worst kaiju and yuzuriha yeah. were like i was expecting i i don't even expect it to be they a were romance, the, like, it was the first chapter day <laughs> like they were they and then were, i thought okay over time he'll like yeah. I, I don't want to i don't want to see like full-on like dates or whatnot i just want to see there a little... should have been just been a nice moment at the end there had to have been a nice or moment even worse when a shonen manga or a series like just doesn't and they don't end up together in the end. Yeah, I, do, I don't I don't know how they did not I don't know how they did not do that, you know. I actually think the best case scenario of this is probably Demon Slayer, like in terms of like a good shonen uh, relationship. I actually I don't really know. Like I would that. argue, yeah. I mean, slight spoilers, but yeah. there's not I mean, it's not bad. I'm not going to say there's, who. Uh, yeah, yeah. There, it's not bad, but there's like nothing that happens in between. It's like, oh, yeah, they go and well together. that's why a lot of people think the ending is rushed, you know? Yeah, I mean, um, that's not why I think it's rushed, yeah. but that particular... Uh, I don't think... Uh, I think I they know. should have had an arc just themselves. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, I like, agree with you. These it, things need to build was, up well. Yeah, it was very much love at first sight. I take that like, back. Like Katara, yeah. uh, like Katara and Katara Aang. Katara and Aang. They, we didn't see an episode where they like went out on a date, whatever. But yeah. we see a progression of the relationship in some way. Yeah, the cave of two lovers, you know, the, uh, I mean, there was a the, whole bunch the, of the, the, Ember Island. the Ember Islands players. Yeah. I mean, there's a, a whole bunch of other episodes. I mean, that where the there's moments where you that. feel like it's progressing either in a bad way or in a good way, and it feels like in the end, like oh, it yeah. built up to this, the, like the, the 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 day of Black Sun when yeah it, yeah yeah, and then the uh, the nightmares and daydreams episode. Oh, the fortune teller, the fortune teller. Screw See, anybody they, yeah. who says that that relationship wasn't built up. I hate you, <laughs> and you are a disgrace to storytelling. I hate. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a whole facet of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that believe that Aang and Katara's relationship is one of the worst uh, television relationships ever because it wasn't built up right. Sorry uh, that it's too vanilla for you yeah. losers, but it's built well. I hate you. I hate you. Uh, anyways, that's the only thing that really grinds my gears is those people who who hate on people who just hate on avatar the last airbender in general and they're, they're really ex they're looking excuse, for a needle in the haystack yes. because there's almost nothing and wrong their with excuse that their excuse is always it's a bad series i've also heard the argument that the ending is a deus ex machina but i just completely completely disagree especially with the lore of the world and the uh uh, uh the lion turtles and how they spirit bend i think it's such a brilliant way um, especially for a kids' show, it has to end that way. So it's really brilliant. Um, but but anyway, to to yeah. to get back on topic, where I've get, gotten most of my romance and really good romance, I think spurns from that slice of life animes yeah. that have romance, but it's not the main focal point. You know, slice of life slice of life is always about you know the friends you have and the moments you have with those friends and stuff like that like what i'm thinking about is one of the best romances uh i've seen is um uh uh, uh march comes in like a lion has a really good romance that is really well built up and and it's just it's it's a really good romance another good uh example is don't toy with me miss nagatoro like it's like yeah like it's that's not... like comedy slice of life and then there's like a romance like a but yeah there. and it's yeah. a major point of it but it's yeah. not a romance yeah. anime definitely not um i i it's definitely slice of life but this is the first thing that i'm reading in like terms it's in of your reading. face like you know it's, it, this is romance it's gonna be a romance and it's um 
so <laughs> <laughs> so I actually have I mean I have read some um how do I say uh some more scandalous manwas and mangas I've given them a sort sort of a perusal this is giving me that vibe where at any moment oh this is not these the, girls, this is these this girls, is the tip of the yeah. this is not even <laughs> not even close like, like in the first one where like you know you see i think it's um who's the first what's, girl what's that her, he meets what's her call oh uh itsuki yeah itsuki like you see her feet and stuff like that and, and no i think you're talking about miko Oh, it might be. It, I think it's somebody else, but but we we get like a like she's pushing up, you know. Yeah, that's and I Miku, was like, yeah. at any moment, like her, like her clothes could be coming off. But it but it it is feel like it's riding that edge a little bit, you yeah. know. Um, and it it's kind of impressive how 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 well he draws these females, especially because Dude, I that's think, me with Horikoshi. Yeah. Oh, oh my, yeah, Sometimes yeah. they're just he's just too good. I just <laughs> I'm just like I'm like. Because I don't, I don't think he's like in terms of mangakas, right? We've read some mangakas where you're like, this guy is the second coming of Picasso, you know, in what he does. And I don't think that this person, like, his backgrounds are kind of mediocre. But like when he when he draws women, he, you can tell this is where the and practice all the, has all, been all the all the budget goes to like <laughs> yeah, this one panel. You can tell this is like he spends Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday drawing that one panel of of Miku. Or of 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 Nuno, Nino, you know, yeah, Nino, Nino, yeah, yeah, of all these, of all these women. I'm still trying to get the names down. By the way, no, it's okay. Um, it doesn't help that but, they all look alike. Yeah, <laughs> no, it does. They're absolutely, and sometimes they dress as each other. Yeah. to kind of throw like, them off. Dude, it's in, it's. I don't even know how. It's a bearable for in the manga. At least in the anime, you can see that. Oh, the color hair. I can kind of tell. Yeah. The hair colors are different, but in the manga, it's like it's so, gray. So I can't is tell. The, so is the like in the part where they're um where you flash forward to the wedding yeah do you see the hair color of the person it's all the same in in the it's a pinkish rose but they don't tell they don't show the voice so it's assuming that her hair color changed whoever it is okay so um, oh so nobody has the hair color that the that the woman no one has yeah what if he just marries somebody else <laughs> that would suck but it's but um but it's really yeah. funny because it has like a how I met your mother vibe like okay he no, meets, definitely he's ending up with someone it's just a matter of who yeah and what makes it even great that it's one of these girls it just doesn't help yeah. that they all look alike it doesn't isn't like Ted's body count like in the seventies or something like except that? It, yeah. it, minus that <laughs> minus that <laughs> yeah he's like I yeah mean, I'm just a hopeless romantic yeah. sleeps through half of New York while judging yeah. Barney for doing the I know same. but but I I I under, I mean if his if his body count is 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 high i could only imagine barney's it yeah. must be in the 500s uh you know but uh, but i mean you have to have that happen the show was on for so long yeah. you know but this is this is interesting because it's i think that when doing a good romance you need to always do something different because we've all seen those or read those romances where it's you know it's just formulaic I feel like there's yeah. a lot of romances here in the United States. You know, when we talk about a Christmas, you know, everybody, Dude, everybody knows oh, Christmas romance. I just saw one that was like, I mean, no offense. My parents, like, they, they, they watch, they just pick films on Netflix. And I just yeah. saw, I was, like, eating dinner while they were finishing up a film. It's like a couple, uh, not a couple, a guy and a girl. Girl has a yeah. fiance already. Yeah. Apparently, he's an okay guy, but he was just busy during the weekend goes with goes to a hotel with this guy oh we have room room i'm like uh it's a classic trope yeah but you have a fiance and she's like oh we'll take it they have wine they start dancing and then she cheats on the on her fiance uh -huh. with this random guy and she's like oh i just want to stop it before it's too late i'm like you already cheated on your fiance yeah, you, you slept with another you man you want to stop it before it's too late it's already too late but their idea of the, 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 the western yeah, idea of romance is just so bizarre it just kind of yeah. it feels like so pale in comparison I, I think it's, to like i definitely think like people have begun to see like i really really like how especially recently people realize that it's like oh if you cheat on a significant other you're a scumbag who's afraid to confront the problem you know yeah. you're afraid to to end it already guys if you're listening and if my one relationship advice if you're in a relationship and you don't want to be end it like just don't just end it you know and if you're thinking about starting something else with somebody else just do that end yeah. it do that 
not in you a different. It, you think it's harder don't do to do it in a different order. Yeah, you think it's harder to deal with the alternative, but it's yeah. much. You're just gonna make your life much. Yeah, miserable you're you're gonna you... be much more miserable. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and this is not coming from experience because I've never done that. But uh, yeah. well, I mean, uh, in an experience, yeah. in a sense that we've like experienced it like yeah. through our, our daily lives. Well, I I mean, it's happened to me before. You know? Oh, oh, yeah. I just meant like people around on, me. Yeah. I just like I take notes. I'm like, oh, interesting. Yeah, oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been cheated on before, but I mean. I haven't dated anybody different since high school, so I mean that that was oh, a long, long time ago. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. so like um, shut up, like but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, but but so and you know it's always it's just like you said, like it's always the big city woman goes to this small town and and meets her an boyfriend just honk. doesn't care about her, yeah. has a job where he's too busy for yeah, her, yeah, exactly, and then you know exactly, exactly. Uh, but I mean. And what anime always does so well is that it's always different. It's always, it's something that's just a unique idea. And yeah, it's a little bit weird. Like sometimes the stories are just a little bit weird. Yeah. But I mean, like, like most of the time it's like, like if this was a normal, you know, American romance, it would be, it would be all the quintuplets would be one person and it would be. It would be like it'd be Lindsay Lohan, but yeah. like four times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It would be like it would be like it would be like she's bad at math. He's bad at love. Come join us for the quintessential, you know. And that would be the show. Yeah, you know, it'd be like a quintessential show. romance, you know. Yeah. But instead, it's this time is she's bad at math. He's bad at love, and she's bad at history. She's bad at science, and what? There are five of them. I'm pretty, Whoa! You I'm know. pretty sure the film, the film trailer that just came out, it <laughs> really looks like a. Huh, this feels like a romance drama, but like western. Yeah. Like now that yeah, I think yeah. about it, but yeah. it's something that yeah, this story does in J- Japanese romance stories, just like kind of like all stories in Japanese. The reason why I love manga so much, they it feels like you know all stories and you feel like you know all genres, mm. but. I feel like in the in the Japanese media, they just flip them on their head sometimes. Yes, so you're like I never thought they could do something like that. And it all it feels like they're always they're always growing. And I mean, not always because obviously there are thousands and hundreds of manga that are so mediocre that we just haven't read, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But there are so many good stories to have been told even so much so that sometimes i pick out random mangas at the bookstore and i'm like yeah this is great like this is better than some of the comics that we have going on here um but i completely agree with you that they continue to change it on its head and they continue to you know do different stuff like the idea for fun pirates i feel like was never a was never like some you know pirates are always going to be taken like seriously like like you know grimy they they're like in real life they're actually yeah. scumbag criminals yeah, exactly like, who, but like, no, nobody <laughs> nobody ever thinks about you know what if pirates had superpowers you know what if like, you fight ever, fire like, with fire exa- literally yeah literally <laughs> exactly but um the thing that's fascinated me the most is right now i'm on chapter 10 and it's a firework festival that they're at, and they're as they're usual. Going on. You, yeah. it, the more you get into slice of life and romance, you're like, oh, I've been waiting for oh, the. the oh, fire. I know the tropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know the tropes. I, I know the the you New start, Year's you, festival. You immediately you know. recognize the patterns. You're like, I oh, guess, you know. I know. I mean, Nakatoro had this. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, but it's fascinating because, and I'm a little bit afraid. Uh, that this is what the story is just going to be, but it's done really well with the pacing so far. I, um, I feel like it gets it, it, it like. It, it sets a, it's you're not it's not really a setting up phase but like it does like does more twists and like more things yeah. so like really but, but like, the the thing that i necessarily wanted to talk about really today because next week we're gonna review the entire series yeah. so join us for that and also last friday we uh just released a review of the movie last last saturday i guess yeah uh, give me a day <laughs> <laughs> um, an hour after we yeah, watch an it, hour after we watch it to, yeah you know uh but uh, we're gonna have a review on it because we want to review all the anime movies that we can to you know give you all that yeah uh, give you all this stuff and hey guys quint like we read a lot of shonen. Shonens are long, really long. Quintessential quintuplets, really short. And Edgar yeah. likes it, and so far I've liked it. So give it a re- – it's just a fun time. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, so uh, what's really interesting about this firework thing is that it is a million tropes of 
of fireworks. So when a romance mangaka or when a, somebody's writing a romance, they could go, okay, I can do this trope and this trope. But this mangaka went, okay, I have five women. And what if they all did all the tropes to him? Uh, and it just feels like he's being thrown at different women. Like Poor this, guy. Yeah, is like going guy, through he's it. having the worst time. <laughs> and he doesn't even want the, the dude just wants to study, you know, yeah. and pay off his debt. Um, so I do feel for him in that, in that, uh, kind of way. But I mean, you have the, you have the, uh, uh, the trope of somebody getting caught up in a crowd and then the guy Separate, comes out of nowhere yeah. and he's like, here, hold on to me. Then you have the trope of they just climb the stairs and then they both watch the fireworks together. And then you have the trope of they're walking together and somebody wants to interview them and be like, well, aren't you two a couple? And then they're yeah. like, well, no, we're not a couple. It's we're a misunderstanding. You know, they're like, oh, no way. You know, and then you also have the trope of, you know, the girl who's really, really, really responsible and takes him away. And she's like, She's like in charge of everyone, but you know, deep down inside, she has a girly side towards her. You know, so it's like there are, like it's like a million tropes are being sh- thrown. And it's at a me. different girl, so <laughs> it's like never like on the same yeah. girl. So it's like, at least when it's when it's only one girl, you're like, okay, you can't yeah. ignore this. But with these five girls, like I don't know where yeah. to, I don't I, know what's going and on. And I like, was reading a chapter ten, and I was like, oh my, God. I was like, oh, and it's like every panel there's a different trope, and I was like, wow, like this is you know, like. Like there's a, I feel like it's it's trope breaking to do all of them, yeah. You know, which is really which is really fascinating. So I I, I thought that was interesting. So definitely come back next week. I got seventy chapters to read, uh, and you know that's yeah. gonna be a a journey. A whole uh, it's seventy a chapters to read, a movie to watch. So it's it's a be fun a, series that I really yeah. like to see your input on, especially jumping right into yeah, this. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a, a quintessential. It's gonna be a quintessential week. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice, nice one. Yeah, yeah but you. it's a fun series, and yeah. I can't wait to talk more about it. Definitely. Um, but uh, other than that, I think we're just gonna get straight into the news because sure. holy moly, guacamole! Did we miss like a lot of stuff? Yeah. I mean, that happened. We Mind you, did. I didn't mark it all, but it has been like you know fairly oh, almost two weeks. Uh, I'm sure, like for the people who are really into anime, you know the big stories that came out last week. You know all that stuff. Yeah, some of this will be dated, but you yeah. know we still got we want to talk about it in general because you know it's still news uh, newsworthy nonetheless so we have confirmation that crunchyroll has licensed hell's paradise uh and the ancient magus bride season two and yuri is my job they've just done a whole bunch of licensing for a whole bunch of anime um which means if we follow what has been kind of the trend uh most likely the dub for Hell's Paradise is going to come out of Crunchyroll, which, I mean... Did you see thought, the trailer that came out for it? Yeah, brilliant. It looks great. Um, I'm still a little bit worried because Chains- because uh, MAPPA is busy with other projects. I'm every worried. project. Every the, project. They're doing, yes. like, <laughs> half the biggest animes, like... You're right. But, uh, I mean, in terms of, like, things that I want them to do well, I want them, obviously, to do Chainsaw Man well. But I think that that's just a given. It's the biggest anime that has come out basically since probably My Hero Academia, I would think. Maybe Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm not sure. Um, I have to check the numbers out on that. But um, but yeah, they. I'm just really worried for Hell's Paradise. I'm really worried that they're going to shove it to the side and be like, okay, well, this is its own thing. When in reality, I think in terms of story... Uh, it might be the best, uh, other than Vinland Saga, it might be the best thing that they're working on right now. Um, and, I mean, you can always look at Shibuya arc and all that stuff. But, I mean, in terms of just the one story, Hell's Paradise is such a good story and it deserves such a good adaptation. I feel like even though it's, like, pretty popular, it's, like, really... I don't hear the general consensus, consensus talking about it as much. No, as, and that that's yeah. what scares me is because Vinland Saga, Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen. A bad adaptation could just Chain- kill the fan no, base, even just exactly. manga readers alone. Exactly, and Chainsaw Man, they were all had a fan, a pretty substantial fan base before they started animating it, right? But yeah. it's dangerous with Hell's Paradise because it doesn't have that. What I'd like to see know? is um, for this to do well, get really popular, and then not only just buy the manga, but I really want to see Ayashimon get picked up again. It really sucks that such a successful 
uh, Mangaka, after uh, you know uh, writing such a hit series, uh, uh, get one of his uh, new series canceled. Yeah. Some people says, "What if it's not good?" It got great. I haven't finished it yet because yeah. like yeah, I just got a br- like I don't want to get invested in something where I just know it just gets axed like yeah. five chapters later. No, but uh, that's just not. really unfortunate. But I really do hope this show. But it is gets it is a good, good to yeah it is good to read it and be like okay what happened you know yeah. like like where yeah. where where was this going you yeah. know. And just kind of theorizing all that stuff. It's re- it's not good for the general consensus, but in terms of storytellers who want to do this, it's actually pretty good. The Dragon Ball Super manga is going to return in December with a new arc, and we got a new visual with Goten and Trunks looking as superheroes. I wonder where of. they got that from. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, but this is fascinating because we don't necessarily, we've never really focused on Goten and Trunks, especially recently we haven't focused on Goten and Trunks in the past couple of arcs. We haven't focused on anybody except Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza, really. Um so this is going to be interesting. I really hope Dragon Ball goes back to the days of a more of a more inclusive kind of cast like it was during the days of early Dragon Ball Z and uh, Dragon Ball. Um, of course, Goku and Vegeta will always be the main characters. They're the most popular. But I was really pleased with Dragon Ball Super Superhero. So I hope that they continue to make their cast more inclusive with right. who they have um then uh at uh let me have pull it up right here uh high dive announced at uh anime new york uh city panel mm-hmm. um that um aka Ak- i always screw up his name i'm so sorry aka aka saka god i can't i don't know why that's so hard Ak- for me Ak-a-saka? it's like a tongue t- Akasaka, yeah. yeah Aka Akasaka. Akasaka. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, the manga for uh, Love is War, his yes. new series, uh, which is anime to debut, Oshinoko, which is to come out next year, High Dive has the rights uh, to stream mm. the series. Okay, okay. Really interesting. High Dive is another uh, anime streaming website. They mm. exclusively have Call of the Night and uh, and I believe uh, uh, made... Um, Made Wars or something like that? I forget what I, that I've is. heard of it, yeah. Something like that. I don't, I'm, I'm butchering the name, but it's Good. Like something along that line. Good. Uh, diversify the streaming services. As much as I love working for Crunchyroll, yeah. right, they do have... They Ever since the merger with Funny, they've been having a little bit of a stranglehold on I never heard stuff. someone call that Funny. You know, oh, Funny. <laughs> yeah. Funimation. I know. Yeah. I never heard that's funny. Uh, but they... I, I do want them to be a diversity because competition is good elsewhere. And it's also yeah. good for all the actors to work at different places. You know, yeah. you don't, you never want to have a stranglehold on an industry. Yeah. <laughs> Disney. This is a Sorry. big, this is a big one under the belt though. A <laughs> series that everyone loves looking forward to. If you love mm-hmm. love is more, this one also has great reviews and it's still being written by Aka yeah. Akasaka. Uh, the anime will debut in 2023 with an extended 90 minute first episode. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to have a big debut. Um, so stay tuned for a high dive of that. If you're interested in watching. Uh, also we got, let's see right here. We got love. Ben, uh, Venom Yo. Saga by Makoto uh, uh, Yukiri Muda uh, mm-hmm. uh, will be releasing in English a new premium collector hardcover three-in-one volume, a new omnibus. It's really weird because if you think about it, the English releases right now for Venom Saga are already omnibus. Oh, no, my money. <laughs> but, because, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't think there's an official... Um, um, I will be buying that omnibus. Yeah, I w- it will be the first manga that I bought th- two copies of. Do you know what I really like? Like a deluxe edition, like the way Berserk has. Like if there's like a Vinland Saga version. Oh of yeah, that. like Attack on Titans. Uh, yeah. Attack on Titan has like four different versions of their manga. They have an omnibus version. They have the regular volumes. They have the t- the the Titanic version or whatever it's the called. Colossal the Colossal edition. edition. They have the box. They have yeah, the, box, the box sets. Uh, yeah, and then they have the. Uh, they also might have a three in one. Yeah, they have a regular yeah. omnibus. They have the box sets. They have the colossal d- edition, and then they have the. Um... I think they have three in ones, right? Yeah, yeah, I could be wrong. Yeah, but I wonder which manga does have the most like versions of itself. Oh, it's got to be. It's either. It either has to be Death Note or no, they Attack have, on Titan. They have three. I think Death Note only has three. Only has three. Attack on Titan just might be it. I think it's Attack on Titan. It's got to be. I can't think of anything else that I've seen. Um, eventually, oh, it might be Dragon Ball. 
Yeah. It might be Dragon Ball has a colored version, has the original manga version that's just called Dragon Ball. Then they have the other re-released version that is called Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Then they have a colored version. Then they have the full big version. Yeah, it's Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably. Uh, I'm surprised One Piece doesn't have. I know they hit One Piece has an omnibus. They have a box set. Yeah, why doesn't One Piece have a big version? Maybe because there's I'm too many. You're like, we can't. We're gonna run out of paper if we keep doing too many versions. They will of One eventually, Piece, like. but we'll be in our like our 40s or something when they do it. When One Piece is finished, Edgar, you remember Jujutsu Kaisen Zero? I think I do. Remember like the second Manga Monday show we've ever done? That was crazy. That was a long time ago. That was so crazy. Wow. Wow. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero officially tops Weathering With You as the sixth biggest anime film of Let's all go. time. So yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, um, it revealed on Thursday that the film sold 20.51 million tickets and earned 20 point, uh, 26.5 billion yen or $191 million overall. So it was still in theaters? Like it was you. still like breaking weight like making them yeah i mean it's probably still in theaters in japan um that's probably why it's it earned it just got over it uh so uh jujutsu kaisen overall had 195 weathering with you had a 189 the japan doesn't have a lot of big big uh box office you know hits like anime so their anime is they're going to be playing for a very, very long time. I assume Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is probably going to finish at the end of this year. Um, but I'm sure One Piece Film Red is going to be playing probably a year from now still. Uh, it's probably going to keep going on for a long time, especially with how it's gonna big keep it's getting going higher. to be. Yeah, no, it definitely is. <laughs> uh, I actually think it might... It might it might be a fingertip away from Demon Slayer at the end of its run, but I don't think it's going to beat it. But, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, ben, I got sad uh, for me. Not, I mean, um, Mushoku Tensei, while it did celebrate its 10th anniversary in November yeah. 21st, its first web novel, web novel uh, vol- uh, chapter was published in November 22nd, 2012. Mm-hmm. The official uh, light novel ended on November 24th Rip. in ja- in Japanese uh, publication. Um, Edgar, you got to get reading Japanese. You got to <sighs> learn Japanese I fast. I can't. Otherwise. I can't. But it, and what's worse is that these like releases are so slow. Digitally, uh-huh. English, officially, th- I, it's like on volume like uh, 19 and like the volume 24. Yeah. I think the digital release for like the last volume is like slated for this time next year. Oh, really? And the physical release is like uh, probably February of 2024. Mm. So like I'm going to have to wait a long time. I'm pretty sure someone's like unofficially will, translating yeah. these like, but I don't want to like like, you know what I mean? They're not the same as, like, scans. Yeah, like, no, I get you. I get you. Don't worry. Because you can misinterpret, like, a whole paragraph. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. not getting any of this. <laughs> but this is a series I really, really love. And mm. it's officially come to an end. I heard it ended off on a great, great, great note. So, good. you know, sad news, but all the while, great. Uh, go check it out if y'all haven't. It's, yep. it's a good read. Uh, Edgar, we've been gone for two weeks. You want to know what else has started these past two weeks? What? The World Cup. We haven't even talked oh, about yeah. it at all. No, the World Cup we're in America, Ben. No one cares about soccer. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Uh, although I have seen people caring a lot recently. Well, when your country you is winning, know, you want to yeah, rub it in every yeah, other rub, country's rub, face. Every, so. <laughs> every other country's face. But you want to know who else's country is winning. Japan. They are in the second. The blue lock is real. The blue lock. The blue lock is real. Blue lock. And even though it is most likely, I don't want to eat my words i'm just gonna knock on some wood because if you didn't know i'm german and i support the german national team so this is very uh this is a very 50 50 scenario because i love i love blue lock and i love uh japan and i think they're great but i will always support germany so i'm like me ah. with mexico <laughs> yeah. and u.s and and japan yeah, like. and i'm like ah damn uh <laughs> but yeah so obviously japan beat germany in what is probably their biggest ever win in history um, which is funny because they might not even get out of the group, uh, which would be really, really sad. But I would also be very, very happy because that means Germany would go through. Um, but yeah, the Blue Lock illustrator, Yasuki Nomura, he did an awesome, awesome uh, little, nice little sketch drawing of oh, really? them saying, historic victory, go get him Japan. 
and it was Isagi looking a little oh, bit. Oh, bro, know. it's so great. Oh, yeah. man. Isagi looking a little bit like, let's go, you know. Um, if you also didn't know, the Japanese jerseys were heavily based on the Blue Lock anime. Not heavily based on. Uh, uh, the uh, mangaka Yusuke Nomura, he created them. He drew it in a manga. He drew it on a page, and then they made it a reality. Um, so yeah, I have seen a whole bunch of stuff saying the anime of this, the anime adaptation of this, uh, game is going to go hard. And I was like, yeah, I was, I was like, telling I Ben, can, can you imagine if, J if Japan wins this world cup, would that mm -hmm. this technically be the ending of the manga? Yeah. <laughs> like, that'd be hilarious. It will be, <laughs> if they win, it will be, but I mean, they might win it in the manga because it's a, like the manga is, is in its own reality, yeah. but I would love to see them. If they do win the 2022 World Cup, you know, I would love to see them beat Germany along the way, you know, yeah. and kind of have it mirror this. Yeah. Because in terms of like a comeback story, there's no better one. That game was really, really good for a comeback story. Um, however, I do think, just real quick, saying and talking about Germany, Germany is learning. Hansi Flick is, in my opinion, the best coach in the world. And if Germany get out of the group stage, I think they will be very, very dangerous. So other teams, you better hope you're gonna they're gonna defeat them. You better watch um, out. You better watch is, out. Yeah. You better watch out. <laughs> you better watch out. But uh, which is interesting for me because I am very for the teams that I support, Germany and Bayern Munich, I am very harsh on them. And I'm, when we suck, I'm able. I am very able to go. It's me with yeah, the Steelers, we're, we're like awful. right now. <laughs> I'm like we're awful. Yeah. No, but it's really fun uh, seeing uh, Americans get much, very much into mm -hmm. it, uh, especially <laughs> considering how much they're yelling at every other country. Like it's called soccer. They're like in bars, like yelling, not knowing who's what, who's like what's a forward. You know. <laughs> Nonetheless, it, it's nice. It's it's fun. That's why the oh, World man. Cup's so great because it yeah. brings people who you don't normally aren't drawn to the sport and. Hopefully, um, people get more into it because you know it's a beautiful game. It's like yeah, absolutely it is a beautiful crazy game. to watch. It is. Yeah. Um, we uh, got Ben. This isn't really manga news, but it's big news. Bob sure. Iger steps back into the CEO of Disney position. Well, yeah, Kareem I mean, Daniel, I mean, Disney owns Ghibli, so that's a pretty big, you know, still pretty big for, um, uh, pretty big for anime as well. Wait, wait, wait. I said Bob Iger step back in for CEO. Yeah. What does Ghibli at, have to do with at this? Disney? Studio Ghibli is owned by Disney, right? Oh, you're trying to relate it to I thought yeah. I thought okay, I know you I know what you mean now. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Wait, why are you bringing Ghibli into this?" <laughs> well, yeah, Disney has I just meant, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. So what does this mean, Edgar, overall? Um does it, I don't, don't want to any changes. We could this could be some totally unrelated to completely could business. It, could he be like the new Elon Musk come in and fire everybody and then, you know, everything could this goes be the wrong. good Elon Musk version <laughs> Elon where he Musk. steps in and actually saves yeah. the day? Or is he just going to come in and it, and it's like, oh, hey, he came in and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's no secret that, uh, that uh, right now, um, you know, Marvel and Star Wars, even if you want to argue, are in a bit of a gray area uh, in this past uh, phase. I mean, Star Wars. Not, I not, think Star I Wars think is not even in phase because they. I don't know how they do. Star with Wars is just. I don't even know what Star Wars is doing. Star Wars, I think, is a mixed bag, especially with things like Andor and um, uh, Mandalorian doing so well. But then there's also things like the Book of Boba Fett, which wasn't received very well. Bad Batch and was that was a uh, Bad Batch. Uh, Bad Batch. Uh, all the animated stuff is always well received. Okay, it was well received. Uh, yeah, already. it was well received. It's not. It's not at its climax yet, but it was the first season. You know. Oh, okay. Um, and it had some great moments. But I mean, Book of Boba Fett wasn't received well. Kenobi wasn't received well at all. Uh, even though the last the last two episodes, in my opinion should have been the whole show uh because that was great um but a whole bunch of people are just uh, they're on the fence about it even though i think star wars nowadays is a mixed bag and you just p you pick what you like and you go yeah, with modern it. star wars especially and mm -hmm. as much people like to ignore it the sequels are always tossed in that bag you know because that's yes uh, it's a i mean the sequels a direct they were the that. biggest things that disney have done you yeah. know I mean, you could argue that The Mandalorian is because it, it kicked off Disney Plus and all that stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, the sequels were some of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. So, I mean, you always have to keep that um, in abundance. And I do think that the sequels are a, a 
And I, I say this as a Star Wars fan, you'd never want to get too carried away. But in the Star Wars fan in me talking, um, I believe that they are a abhorrent betrayal of all things Star Wars. Um, all three of them are, I think, in their own different ways, are a abhorrent betrayal of what Star Wars stands for. So yeah, that's just me. Yeah, but it's yeah. It, it, it. Marvel is in in a very similar situation. I actually think Marvel is worse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think Marvel is in a worse position. Because like, man, I remember telling. So I was talking with a, with a friend uh, of mine talking about Black Panther. And then, like, I told him, like, can you believe, like, this is how, like, Phase 4 ended? And, like, this is how it ends? Mm -hmm. This is Phase 4? Well, I'm like, it's like, Guardians where's, of the Galaxy. Where's, like, the know, Avengers yeah. film? Really? Yeah. I, I don't, I Guardians don't, of the Galaxy was technically the last thing oh, in really? Phase 4. But yeah. still, nonetheless, it's like, how, I, you, you expect the big, like, da -da at the very end. But, yes. like, no, it's, you know, I mean, it's just not. And, it's over. Uh, and this is, like... I feel like, and if you even if you enjoy like this phase four, and think that like, oh, there's nothing wrong with it, everyone's okay with it. I'm like, you're an idiot. Like, you know, you're an absolute idiot. Like, yeah. I feel like you, there's like it comes to a certain point. Funny that you brought that we bring this up, Edgar, because I actually had a poll that I uh, put on the Manga Monday show oh, yeah? a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was just doing a whole bunch of polls, and we'll talk about the polls. Uh, at the end, I mean, we haven't been talking about them for two weeks. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, one of our polls on our community tab was, now that Marvel Phase 4 is over, what do you think about the phase as a whole? And about uh, 75 people voted, which is a good amount. Okay. 3% um, said loved it. 15% said pretty good. A few hiccups. 28% said meh. And the uh, majority of it said most of it was awful with 40%. <laughs> and then uh, the third most was garbage through and through. Yeah, so um, you can get a good read on how most people feel about the <laughs> the MCU. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think I voted most of it was pretty bad. I'm like, Yeah, uh, I did. I did. Most of it was awful. Um, I mean, as you'll see from our uh, Manga Monday show from two weeks ago, you'll know that we think that Marvel Phase 4 is worse than a mixed bag um, yeah. because it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, in terms of like, it's okay if you like individual stuff, but even though I like Multiverse of Madness, major problems writing-wise that, <laughs> that was almost non-existent from other phases of the MCU. Um, but I think it's in a worse position than Star Wars right now because I think Star Wars is a mixed bag Whereas I think the last five projects Marvel has released, I haven't liked any of them. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I do think that Thor... Uh, and it was I, a Thor film. Yeah, that, as, I'm, that, like, as I'm thinking about it, I do think Thor is might be one of the worst MCU movies, like F-tier. Um, I hate it that much. Um, but, you know, some people liked it because they like dumb fun, and that's okay. You know, um, no, that's not okay. No, that isn't <laughs> no, okay. Look, you we have, here, to, we no. have to draw a line. No. These people have to learn, <laughs> no. Ben. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but you know, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if Bob Iger has anything to do with the next phase. It, he walks into the building; it's all on fire. It's yeah. like, all right, let's start getting to work. It's going to be interesting to see if all of this had to do with like COVID restrictions, and maybe that's why it was bad. I mean, that is maybe oh, very no. cope thinking hey man we know. saw knives out too and that was done under covid like of course hell. of like, course that was great like <laughs> yeah um, but it, that also knives out too makes you think like man sometimes disney takes brilliant people and makes really bad movies you know yeah. um especially since the last jedi but you know yeah uh, but like uh, yeah. It, i wonder if this is like gonna be like a kevin feige with Bl with a blade film he walked in and was like this is awful garbage. We're doing it again. I wonder if Bob yeah. Iger is going to do the same. Like all this, no. <laughs> like <laughs> maybe that was maybe that was Kevin Feige finally taking a stand and being like, you know, what? these movies aren't good enough. Redo them. You know, maybe maybe that We're was a him. Thanos snap all the MCU. Like, yeah, may maybe in I, a literal I, sense. I like, actually kind of hope he does. I think I I'd be okay if 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 the entire because I mean we all know that Secret Wars. Every time they did Secret Wars in the comics, it's because they wanted a giant reset button on the comics so that they could redo and and reboot all the superheroes again. If that were you the know, case, but... would you really like want another Avengers, another Iron Man, another Captain America? Nope. Reboot it and do the X Men. Yeah. And do it well. Uh 
But they're not going to stop themselves. I mean, you know that. No, they're not. They're going to keep they're, going. They're what they're probably going to do is they're probably it's going to be some way that the universe is going to be reset, but it's also going to continue in some way. You know, you know how it is. You know uh, how Hollywood be like. Yeah. Uh, well, that's great, Edgar. Yeah, uh, Love Is War. Mm-hmm. Uh, their film, The First Kiss Never Ends, heads to the U.S. theaters February twenty three. Well, I believe uh, this in Japan it comes out December. It could be wrong about that. Should I be reading that before February? Probably. Uh, uh I I'll mean, it's re- not the I'll end. It's not the end. It's not the end. No, it's not. But it is. Uh, but I mean, I will be watching. I should it. I read up to that point? Then I probably should. If you want, yeah. I, I suggest the anime. I suggest. The yes, anime. I'll, highly, I'll, highly I'm recommend watch the, the dub because I know that the dub is. You know, you can do ahead. whichever. I just the anime yeah. just makes it knocks okay. it out of the park. Great, uh, uh, one of the best adaptations. Yes, well, I I promised Edgar when I'm done with Black Clover. I'm going to start uh, watching that, and then I'm going to, and then at the same time, I'm going to read Soul Eater. So yes, that's that's yeah. I'm gonna br- knock out one of th- two of Edgar's favorites with a stick. Yeah, I'm gonna hit both of them. Just See Edgar, whap. I read two. Yeah. <laughs> wap wap, and then uh, after that, I'm finally gonna read Berserk. You uh, with the yeah. wap wap, and I'm like. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> with one piece. You're, one piece. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> I'm, always, and I'm over here like, bam, quintessential quintuplets, ah, I'm black clover, bam, bam. I'm and like scooping here, like, salt out of an ocean <laughs> mine. <laughs> <You're over> like, <laughs> and it's like, it's like, it's over now, right? No, that was just the time skip. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> and, uh, just no, Edgar. It's getting longer and longer. Every you do week. that. You you do that. Like we even right? I'm like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like Edgar's like Edgar's like uh, Edgar, Edgar's like it's getting longer and longer every week. Otis adding more ice cream to that ice cream if i keep taking breaks yeah yeah, so i just need to keep reading no it's fine it's fine take your time uh but once i find it at 500 even though it'll be like a hundred a thousand twenty a thousand two a thousand two (laughs) hundred i'll still feel like it's like halfway yeah i know to me i I think you should uh i think you should take a break after 500 that's what i i can't i can't i read i read hell's paradise in between uh uh, after i i got to the time skip i read hell's paradise and then I did like a month of reading Hell's Paradise, and then here's what I'll tell you why. If I get to Wano, and if all I keep hearing like it's ending, One Piece is ending, I'm gonna be like, (laughs) I'm gonna be like freaking out. I can't do that. That's gonna be like four years from now. You'll be fine. Don't worry. That's what I'm saying. If I take a break at 500, I cannot. I I cannot do that. Do whatever you want. If you wanna read, if you wanna catch the hype, uh, uh, I would keep reading then. Yeah, definitely. To uh, Tomohiro uh, won a new manga. Called it, Versus, this is I the bo- Versus, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, color page from Monthly Shonen uh, Series mm-hmm. magazine. Uh, the author One Punch Man and Mob Psycho mm-hmm. uh, did a new series. Uh, did you check out the poster, Ben? Looks pretty sick. Yeah, it looks pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's like the least one good. looking. Uh, I mean, kinda. I mean, this looks like the least one looking because Mob Psycho and what and and and, and uh, One Punch Man like look fairly similar in terms yeah. of character design or monster villains like yeah that's like a one villain mm-hmm. like you know what i mean yeah like um but uh good for one he just, just wants to stretch his one, you know one interview. i mean it's not a wonder he's probably gonna knock it out of the park so there's gonna be yeah. another peak series that we'll get into no um, he's definitely not a one-hit wonder he created two of the most profitable and and uh in my opinion two of the best series ever made um in terms of storytelling it's really good um yeah, there's a whole bunch of film news. Just know that Suzumi no Tojimari film, it earned 6.6 billion yen in 17 days. Huge. It's on its way to probably being up there with Weathering With You and all of that stuff. So it's just another Makoto Shinkai masterpiece. Um, or master class. We don't. We haven't seen it yet. We can't call it a masterpiece. But um, It's getting good reviews, yeah. getting good uh, audience reactions. I mean, I assumed, but... Uh, but yeah, it's been number one for for a couple of weekends, which is you know, like it's nothing to scoff at, especially since uh, uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime also released a movie, and that's another big series. But Makoto Shinkai, he releases stuff, and all of Japan goes to watch it. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of fun to see when it comes here. I got a couple of just small. There's a couple of new. Um, mangas unknown mangas here at the manga monday show we always want to make you aware to just smaller mangas go check it out go read it then tell us in the comments if that's something that we should read as well but um one of my favorite mangas was because we we found it here on the manga monday show which was dead dead demon destruction which is getting an anime soon but we don't know when that'll be um but uh viz media 
on Manga Plus is going to be launching a new manga called Ichigoki's Under Control. It's going to be in English. Obviously, it's going to be translated in English. And here's the synopsis. Ichigo is a regular kid, or Ichigoki is a regular kid who can't wait to start high school. But an unexpected encounter with the fists of the eastern lowland gorilla that has escaped from the zoo results in his death. Harambe? Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, he somehow regains consciousness only to discover that he's become a full metal bodied cyborg. Thus That's begins Cyborg Ichigoki's wacky and aggravating misadventures with Misiao, his mad scientist friend from childhood, a coming-of-age buddy gag manga from the Seji Hashi creator of I'm From Japan, Chikyu Ningen, uh, Ningen Terishan. So yeah, uh, a really good established uh, manga. Ca- he's making a nice little gag manga of somebody who died from an ape <laughs> uh, from the zoo. The good gay, ending really of funny. Harambe. <laughs> yeah, the the good ending. No, I'm just mean, kidding. Okay, I, uh, yeah, I don't mean I don't mean the kid should have died, but like, right. you know how people mean. Like, um, no, I get you. I get you. Um, uh, and, and then my last news story of today: Jujutsu Kaisen director Sung Hoon Park unveils his project Bullet Bullet Anime and Disney. They're releasing a whole bunch of new animes. Disney. They announced on Wednesday that Sung Hoon Park, the director of Jujutsu Kaisen and Goro Vanishing Line, spent a decade drafting the story for the original series, a tentative titled project Bullet Slash Bullet. Um, and it's going to stream on Disney Plus. We don't know when it is, but I think it looks rather promising with the nice little design that they have going on there. So, cool. yeah, that's going to be very cool. Yeah, speaking of Disney, Disney expands partnership with Kodansha to release more exclusive Ooh. anime series, just like uh, based on manga produced by Kodansha, like Ben just wow. explained. Uh, and a lot of people were surprised, but if you don't know, Disney already has a lot of anime in the category. And if you're like wondering, well, where is it? That's because of Japan's Disney Plus, mind you. Every uh, every uh, region has their different version and catalogs of series, even on Netflix. I hear like literally e- Netflix, literally in any other country, has a bigger and better catalog than America's catalog and Netflix. Yes. Really dumb. So like that's why VPNs come into clutch. I don't have one, but that's what I keep hearing. Like if you have a... If you have a VPN, you like you only need in. one subscription for yeah. like everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but with uh, yeah, I, I remember hearing like Mushoku Tensei is now on Disney Plus. I looked on, I looked it on my Disney Plus. I'm like, where is it? I'm like, oh, it's not there. It's in Japan. They got stuff like Love Is War, Attack on Titan, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, a, a lot of series. Doctor Stone on Disney Plus. It's yeah. it's rare and weird to see, but you know, apparently they're going to be adding a lot more stuff with Kodansha. Mm-hmm. Probably means Blue Lock. Probably, I know Kodansha is under uh, has Blue Lock's uh, rights and all that. And they publish it, so pro- Blue Lock will probably be on that if it isn't already. Yeah, and that's pretty much all the news that we got. At least the ones that we marked down. Yeah. Um, if uh, if it comes out soon, we'll be talking about it uh, next week. Yep. Um, but let's just talk about uh, the two big series, at least the one that we're up to date. Uh, sure. Quickly. Why don't you talk week. about Chainsaw Man first? Yeah, let's talk about Chainsaw Man. Get to Chainsaw Man. All right, we're not doing this. All right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how it ends. Yeah. Um, but Chainsaw Man, uh, Ben, this is the episode that I've been look, looking most forward to. Actually, we didn't talk about. Let's just talk about quickly the hotel one, the arc that you didn't really like apparently. Oh yeah, but it was brilliant. They no, really yeah, it was great. Um, I literally have nothing else to say other than like I didn't like that arc in the manga, and the anime made me like it. So yeah. That's yeah. that's the highest praise for me because so far, I mean, all I believe all manga is like every time I read a manga, I'm like, this is the most of the time it's better than the anime. It just when an anime I feel like is better than a manga, that's a real testament to how good the anime is, such as uh, the first three seasons of Attack on Titan and um, now Chainsaw Man uh, in that one part. I still think the the manga is superior in most of the episodes. What do you think so of far, Kobeni? Like we these few episodes, we got a lot of Kobeni. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, they, I love they, it. They, yeah. Obviously, they gave her a little bit more of a spotlight than there is in the manga. She's a right? fan favorite. Of I course. underestimated on how much the manga readers really love Kobeni. I thought it'd be like power or something, considering <laughs> Dude, what we know. Dude, she's she's huge. But you, you want to know who's even bigger? Kobeni's her car. car. <laughs> her car. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's so funny seeing all these anime only reactors be like. 
what is the big deal? I don't get it. She's actually really annoying. Can we like kill her? And all the manga readers are like, no, bro, no. you're wrong. No, sit, best best sit girl down. right here. Sit down. <laughs> you know, but I, I, I know you talked about uh, that there's a big reaction towards Himeno that a lot of people dislike her. Yeah. I mean, it's not, uh, it's, it's not, it's not, it's obvious why, but like, I guess manga readers took it in a different light. Yeah. A lot of people are, gonna, I'm probably going to have to censor this word because I don't know if we can say it. A lot sure. of people are calling her a uh because of like her advances on sure. denji making out with her then insinuating that she wanted to do it with him mm -hmm. um nearly doing it with him but then saying like oh no you know i can't and she yeah. was drunk and people really really didn't like it they called her a groomer they called it her manipulating denji because they cons uh, considered denji's age for one thing and himeno being like in her 20s or whatnot um but uh but isn't the age of consent in japan 17 yeah i believe it um, is and then people were like but he's 16 i'm like yeah but he doesn't even know his birthday yet. i think it's heavily it's heavily uh implied that denji has no idea what his age is yeah uh and i mean to be honest i mean it's just, i don't know it just rubbed yeah. people off in a no definitely. i mean not it was not subtle why it's not it's not a, a secret why himena rubbed off on people a really long way i just like i don't know just reading it i just i guess I, we just been so desensitized to like things like this to where like okay i guess yeah and, but people really really hated her to the point where it kind of annoyed me i'm like people were like actually uh, spoilers for the recent anime if you haven't watched the newest episode um the one with the katana devil where she dies yeah people like celebrated people are like oh thank god or the people are like well, okay. oh the best episode ever she's dead i'm like okay dude. Sh okay like that's like <laughs> y'all are taking it a wee bit too far uh, to the point where i was getting annoyed where I, like i wasn't really defending her but i'm like you know i hope like all your favorite characters die <laughs> like <laughs> whoever it is like you know if it happens yeah but, like, i don't know i mean i i i see where they're coming from but also um <laughs> it's a story in a deeply messed up world and if you're angry that like this girl who's just a little bit slightly older than you know is than... it the is probably the best case scenario of what's about to happen in this yeah, entire series. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I mean, I mean, these are probably the guys who are, uh, or the people who are probably thirsting over Makima, right? I mean, yeah, Makima right now, and oh, uh, they're in for a rude awakening. Uh, maybe yeah. they're in for a rude awakening, but we'll see. Yeah, but uh, I mean, not that Himeno was really my favorite, but it was sad seeing her I liked go. her. I think she was really great. Yeah, yeah, especially her ties with Aki. I think she was very important for the manga to make you go, oh. <laughs> it's kind entire... of similar to Attack on Titan, where it they need to kill off that kind of character to go, uh, you know, like the only this... person who's really safe is Denji, you know? Yeah. Or is he? Like, yeah, we don't because, know. Because, like, he got shot <laughs> as of this latest episode that we're record that of recording. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, the Katana uh, Devil episode, uh, this is, like, a big staple and really, like, oh, this is Chancellor Man. This is what it's about. Mm -hmm. Even people who were able to predict things couldn't predict what happened this episode. Yeah. Such an amazing episode. Really tense when they sh mm -hmm. immediately, uh, when they shoot makima and like and her and uh her lackeys and like her, and uh the people she was with on her way to kyoto yeah they end up shooting her uh god all, this anime just is shot like a film like it's like there's dolly shots there's panning there's like yeah. a lot of great stuff going on here the lighting is like fantastic mm -hmm. and the devils every time they use them even on the bad guy side like it's always sinister and it's always like some like there's a cost here no matter what uh, mm -hmm. But it seems like as of right now, like the bad guys that we're looking at, it seems like it's really easy for them. But Himeno loses her entire body because she trades it away for using the entire body of the the ghost devil. Horrifying, by the way. Uh, obviously, I, I believe the manga did it a bit justice but just because of how raw it was. And you know what I mean? Like the, yeah. the, the ghost face devil is like absolutely disgusting to look at. Um, but it's also really cool with the flower neck. Uh, Katana Double has such a sick design. Uh, he's included in one of my favorite uh, volume covers of the series. Yeah, uh, the music fantastic. The pacing and the action at, off the walls. And Bravo Mappa is like probably the best episode yet so far. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is the episode I was looking forward to because the next few episodes, I'm like, yes, now I'm like like now I'm looking forward to it. And people will get really invested in. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it with Chainsaw Man. Uh, Want to get into my hero? Your favorite part of the manga, right? This, no, this no, 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 no. I just meant I was looking forward to the episode moving forward. This my favorite, favorite part of manga hasn't happened yet. My Hero Academia? 
Oh, My Hero Academia, yeah. Yeah. This the, is my favorite part, part of the manga, yeah, yeah. where it starts. Where uh, Deku is just absolutely wrecking. Um, just an absolute wrecking ball of... Um, and and in viewing it again, yeah, I can see your point that it wasn't it wasn't done the best. However, um, y'all are, for those of you who are hating on this, y'all are stupid. Yeah, I, y'all I, are idiots. I'm a little bit weird. I, I'm I'm just a little bit sh- estranged right now. If you're reading the manga right now and you say, "Yeah, My Hero Academia is mid," I can see where you're coming from. Uh, but if you watch, if you're watching the season and you go, "Yeah, My Hero Academia is mid," I'm just a little bit like they just want what's... everything to be. So perfect, yeah. so perfect. Then, if they find one flaw, I, I they think do. It's the worst I, I think ever. it's hard to go and watch. To go, it's and the watch. same thing. They compare one frame, yeah. moving frame, one frame to like the most yeah. to a, to a week spent worth on a panel. I think that I is think not how that works. You can't. I think it's hard it. to watch Chainsaw Man and then My Hero Academia. Chainsaw Man obviously had some more years of development under its belt. Yeah, they've obviously been working on Chainsaw Man for a lot longer. Uh, Mappa obviously has a lot more money. I also think it's hard for people to watch Mob Psycho done by the same company and go, well, why can't I get that? You know, but Mob Psycho has probably been worked on for the past three or four years, you know, and I just think that My Hero isn't like that. My Hero, you're lucky that My Hero isn't a weekly show like One Piece or Dragon Ball. Or Black Clover. It is, or, or at Black least Clover, Black Clover you know? was, but yeah. probably will be again. Which, which it is, which is how big it is, you know. Yeah. You, you're lucky that it is seasonal and not, uh, and not vice versa. But I think that I, I do have some grievances with this season. I think the, the blue sky background is such a boring... Setting. That was in the manga already, wasn't it? Or? It was, but Horikoshi's art makes it different. If you added, does it leave it up to interpretation? Would you may, say? Yes, I, I think so. If you add, if you put clouds over it, there would be no difference. You know, if you put clouds over, like made it cloudy and stuff like that, there would be no difference in it, and it would make Shigaraki more menacing. It would give him some more layers to the background of his stuff. Because sometimes the background it just seems a little bit too plain. But I actually, I actually kind of like that it's you know, it is daytime and it it doesn't seem like this is a time period where a villain would be attacking. Yeah, it's contrasting you know? in in a, in a way. In a way, yeah, yeah. But I did. I just think that the, I I just think that the um uh uh, I think that the anime is, um. Sorry, I'm getting text messages that Mexico are scoring. Oh my god, are you serious? Mexico just scored. Oh, thank god. Yeah, but Argentina Uh, scored against Poland, and they need Poland to at least tie or win against Argentina to move through. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like Argentina and Poland are moving in right now. Keep this in the podcast. We're doing this live. People who are listening are either like, "Oh, yay for you guys," or like, "You poor boys." Yeah, you poor boys. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I have no stake in this because Lewandowski no longer plays for Bayern, so I don't care uh, what happens in this group. He but plays for Pol- Poland. He plays for Poland, yeah. yeah. But now he plays for Barca because he left Bayern. Um, oh, the bastard. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he's fine. But uh, uh, yeah, so the background is just a little bit um, it's a little bit I don't, plain. I, I don't, I, my argument is like, I don't like that it's I don't care that it's during the day. Mm-hmm. I guess I, the reason why people hate that is because there's no big set pieces around yeah, the setting. I it's agree. just nothing. It's ruined. And arguably so, because that's what Shigaraki literally does. He like destroys everything. I just think they should have spent. I think they should have spent another year on it. Made some of the made some of the insane moments a little bit more insane, or add some more shadows. Because I think the best part, or make it more stylized. Like make it like the, your opening is right now. You know, like the opening, the way that it's stylized is great. You know, and I think that the best part of the fight, the way that it looked, was when Endeavor started fighting him, and then like the background turned all red because of his because of how hot his flames were. I think the best choreography you know? and the best fighting scenes are when Endeavor has been in uh, this for this season. His... Arguably, My Hero Academia in general. Yeah, you know? uh, his his fight scenes. His they always because like, you know, the fire yeah. always adds color in a colorless like palette. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, and as much as we love All Might and Deku, you know their powers are very much superpower. You know, they have, Until I mean, there's Deku opportunities to with yeah. Black Whip, but um, no, definitely. Um, but he, he doesn't. I mean, he's not like he doesn't use it often. But you know what I mean. Yeah. 
Uh, strength users don't really have that much flash to them. Yeah, so it's you're really right. it's really hard to to compete against other other villains. Um, but I feel like people are just being too nitpicky with yes. this uh, to a point where it annoys me a lot. Um, but I did have, but 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 I did have like uh, my grievances were just like very um, very subtle, not subtle, but they were just very little in a sense. Where I watched the episode, I'm like, oh man, that was my my favorite moment. I kind of expected a little bit more. At least I envisioned it better in my head. I didn't really care about the detail. I just thought it would be done uh, differently. Um, and not my favorite moment in terms of like the best uh, scene, but like when I read the manga, it was the moment mm. where I felt the most hype. Where I was like, sure. where because you you say you always have the experience where you're like, oh my god, you have to put it down. Oh my god, this is like the best thing ever. Yeah. I really had that with manga. It's more with anime, but when it happened for me and my hero, it was that moment. It's when Deku yeah. threw the consecutive punches, Wyoming, Detroit, Texas. I'm like, oh my god, and it was like yeah. the balls to the wall. I was freaking out. Yeah, and it happened yeah. here, and it, I mean, it was pretty good, but I I just expected a bit more. I expected the budget just to kick up a slight notch. I didn't expect I. Didn't expect the best thing yeah. but i mean one could argue that the film probably still hindered this season as well as it did the fifth um because when i was watching blind wave react to world hero mission and as like un like as unalive and and i felt like the the scenes weren't passionate or well choreographed the budget was still there to the point yeah. to where i'm like if it was just like a little bit of that in this where season six is right now at this moment i wish we get if we got a little bit of that it would have just yeah. been all the more better and we we could still get that i mean in terms of like horikoshi's art i don't know if it's been better than when deku raged against shigaraki in like after he got hit right like when his eyes got all big and stuff like that so this could happen in this in this next episode and they might be they might be saving it especially since god knows where this season's gonna end right like, yeah, it's going really fast. We talked about this. It could end really well paced, by yeah. the way. Just oh, yeah. so well really paced. Really fast paced, yeah. Um, I mean, in a good way. Uh, yeah. Uh, really, uh, really well paced. Uh, but And then there was a big moment at the end. Baku goes, uh, you know, uh, it kind of reminisced back to when uh, Deku was training with his float quirk, yeah. which we saw, which is also great. Afro Deku. Um, Afro Deku. Afro Deku. Afro Deku. He thinks he wants to be Luffy so yeah, bad, bro. Beat, beat Afro Deku versus Afro Luffy. Who wins? Why did it turn into Afro again? I confused. Oh, it's because uh, Bakugo kept exploding him, and then his hair. Got oh yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah, but that was that was a fun scene. It's Which like, is hey. similar to Luffy, right? Didn't Luffy get it like exploded? No, he just got it. He just bought a wig or something. Oh, he, he did. <laughs> he just put, I think he just put one on. It's been a while since I've read that arc, but yeah. No, yeah, he Usopp literally that, just gives Afro, it, told him to get oh, a wig. Oh, okay, the Afro Luffy it. arc. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, um, but yeah, we get to see like the longest scene we've had of All Might this season. Yeah, he hasn't the first spoken. Time, he hasn't spoken so far this season. Yeah, uh, which is really cool. Baku mm -hmm. questions him about um, how much All Might has been hiding, and particularly with the fourth, uh, fourth. That users scene of makes me a little bit sad about where the manga is right now, because that scene, when I read it, made it all mysterious. That like, oh, maybe some of the Cork users were villains, you know, yeah. and maybe some of them. Maybe All Might doesn't want to tell him all that stuff because... I thought that you know. with another user, I won't spoil it and I won't say, I thought that with another user as well in uh, with One For All, um, and then they just kind of revealed who they were. I'm like, oh, I thought there was something else more to it. I mean, that my theory didn't... I didn't expect my theory to pan out exactly 100%, mm -hmm. but I'm like, can you like do something else? I'm like, oh, no, that's it. I don't know why you yeah. hit him so long for like nothing. <laughs> There's like no reason for them to hide him what what they were. Um, no, I agree. I also I might have been just because he didn't know much about it, and but yeah, I still would have liked just a little bit mystery when it came to it. Yeah. Like I still I love the build up. I think the build up to Black Whip and Float was amazing, um, and I think that and I won't say what the other quirks are, but I think that when the other quirks are announced they never have that pomp and two of them are really lame 
and that's okay, you know, like like not to give those. I think pawns. two of them are revealed at the same in the same fight, aren't they? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. which point. is which is fine because I, it shows that time has passed, yeah, and that he's been working on it. And those quirks aren't necessarily like float or black whip. Float or black whip are very much like they're very new. They're different. Yeah, yeah they're they're very stylized kind of quirks, um, and I think that. I think that adding those quirks in there, that's fine. But I think especially with the last two quirks, needed much more pomp. Much more pomp to, to what we got. Um, and I won't say what they are because... But I will say that they're overpowered. I will say that they're... It's, they are it's cool, but they just... I, I could. You're right. I could have used that build It's up. absurd. It's absurd how, how powerful they are. It's absurd. Yeah, there's a reason why we're going up. Why, why our episode, one of the episodes that we posted... You didn't think it could get more absurd than twice, but this is absurd. It's absurd, yeah. It's too much. It's too, it's much. too much. It's too much. But uh, yeah, a good. I mean, season six is going great. People, are, I yes. feel like people are officially back in. And then again, I just need to ignore. It's so, it's so funny. Yes. I think was this the anime where you were like, I keep I keep hearing nothing but praise, and I'm like Ben, I'm getting the exact opposite. Everywhere I go, people are hating on my Hero Academia. Was that this one, or is that something else? I. Th- Mm. Was no, that, it we, was this yeah. one. It was, uh, it was, but it was two episodes ago. It was when. No, it was this week. We just was it this yeah, week. Yeah, okay. it was this week. Well, the, yeah, it was. It was my hero. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's just funny because, like, because you're mainly on Facebook. But even then, I feel like I, I don't know. I'm mainly on Facebook because I I like it better because I have a very tight knit group of friends, and that's how I know what they're up to. I'm on the sinking ship of Twitter, but. Yeah, no. Twitter is where I got no, most. No way, am I am I ever being on that? And one of my friends was like, "You should make a Twitter. It's good for voice actors." I'm like, "Not now." I'm like, "Twitter ain't good for anybody." Isn't there like anymore. a new social media where people are like, "Yeah, it's called to... Beehive or something yeah. like that." Hive. Yeah. yeah. Hear that? All right. In okay, case so this goes down, this is where I'll be. Um, but if Twitter goes down, I don't think we're gonna have anything like it ever again. Yeah, because it's like Facebook isn't the same, and like Instagram, you don't really post like news. You know what I mean? It's not the same. And um, but nonetheless, I was getting a whole different conversation on my hero on on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are good sides and bad sides, but the majority were just like people who were like super like trashing on it, say, "Oh, my hero is bad now, guys," or like, "Oh, this is blah blah blah." blah. And, I, and it, a lot of a lot of these arguments were just people who were waiting for uh, an opening to call the series bad. And, um, and it is a it is a very high trend to call My Hero Academia mid or call My Hero Academia bad now, when in reality the for the whole of the series it's a great series and I think it's one of the it's not one of the greatest animes of all time, but I think it is, I I do think it's one of the greatest mangas of all time in terms of like, in terms of individuality we don't really have too many superhero comics that aren't that don't have to do with DC or Marvel coming out of Japan. And I think for standing up against the superhero genre, it does a very different thing and I think it's done really well. If Horikoshi can land the land the ending of it, uh it 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 should be in that conversation. However, I really think if you asked me a year or a year and a half ago, I think all of us would have been like yeah, My Hero Academia is like where it is in the anime right now. We would have all been like, My Hero Academia is the shiz, you know, like it it is like it's at its peak. And if it continues, but it didn't continue. And um, so we'll have to see how it ends. And I'm really worried it's going to end very similar to something like Bleach. So but we'll yeah. see. Speaking of Bleach, uh, yeah. just quick. Uh, we're not watching it, but nope. we have a friend who is. I'm yeah. hearing... That the, the 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 director who's also in close collaboration with the anime's production, they're changing some things uh, in ter- from the manga, uh, in terms of what's canon and what's not. Um, and I hear that's a good thing. Uh, according to I'm going off one perspective, our, uh, our friend Asol, who read the entirety manga of Bleach and who is watching the current uh, Bleach anime, uh, there is a lot of things that are kind of really iffy, and some people, a lot of people, didn't like about the manga. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't really, I don't really remember what he said about it, but well, I hear that the changes they're yeah. making are kind of drifting off ever so slightly from things that they, mm-hmm. he didn't like. Which is good, probably. I, stuff, I yeah. really, I don't have a foot in the door for this. We um, have, we eventually, we'll get to it, guys. We'll eventually, ev- but we'll it's eventually, a big three. We'll so, eventually you know. read Bleach. 
and then we'll watch the anime ending and then we'll do we'll do something about it eventually we will but i mean we're we're focused on other things right now i i know bleach is huge but it's a big we, three we, you can't blame us know, for not we, getting into it we realize we're going to miss the hype train of the thousand year blood war and that's okay sometimes sometimes it will be good in a year or two when we when we decide we're going to sit down and and take a look at this it'll be good to be like oh hey like this is our you know entire viewpoint on it so yeah that'll be yeah. great um but you know it's, nonetheless um fall season anime it's going fantastic mm-hmm. and uh i feel like we should stop promising when we'll catch up on all these other series um uh, when we do we'll do we will, uh, but yeah. we, one way or another, all the series that we're watching now, we'll watch them all, and and, yes. and we'll let you know what we're thinking about it uh, whenever they do. And the ones that stick out, obviously, will be up to date. I feel like My Hero and Chainsaw Man are the ones that have us by the throats on, and have our attention because they're just that good. And not saying that and, and everything else isn't. It's just but uh, they're the ones that, that are like, whoa. You know what I mean? That's a stick yeah. out to us, like, very so. No, definitely. Um, but all these series are phenomenal and we're having such a great time hearing about it reading about it watching it uh on the manga monday show yes um where we'll provide that for you ben do you have a weekly poll for us uh, i do i all do right, give it to us Lay uh, it down to me. i don't have a new weekly poll but i can talk about all the polls that we talked all right about. then let's hear about the poll uh, results let's poll hear about results. the results yes we'll do we'll do a new weekly poll i had an idea for one but i completely forgot well about how about it. this i'm pretty sure you're gonna post one after this episode yes. or by the time this episode comes out so whatever it is go check up on a youtube channel on the community uh, tab mm-hmm. uh the poll will be there and you'll be able to see the results as well as other ones that ben's about to call out uh yeah. what are the results for the polls you've been posting uh earlier we already talked about um marvel phase four uh however in the most recent poll we said now that we are finished reviewing it which arc from the east blue saga is your favorite with over a hundred votes uh i said i didn't have enough space so comment logue town if it is your favorite uh but overall two percent for romance dawn one percent for orange town four percent for syrup village 15% 15% for Brady and overwhelmingly the most overwhelming poll we've ever had 80% for Arlong Park. Oh, so, so, wait, how much was Loketown? Uh Loketown wasn't on it, so I said comment if it's Oh, we should have replaced it with Orange cuz no one cares about Orange. <laughs> well, Loketown only lasted 2 chapters, so And it was uh, arguably Orange better Town than Orange. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, <laughs> but in the comments at uh Rich Stitch 2194 said it's between Barady or or Barati and Arlong Park. And then at Classical7370 said that uh, number one was Arlong, number two was Barati, and number three was Syrup. So a lot of people really like Arlong and Barati, which makes sense. I mean, Mihawk was in Barati and added a whole bunch of different flair and world building into it. But Arlong Park is just a different breed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that was pretty much it yeah. for this uh, week on the Manga Monday show. Yeah, uh, stay tuned. Next episode, we'll be uh, doing uh, not a weekly catch up, but we'll talk about animes that we're watching. Yeah, mangas that are coming out and that we're reading. And quintessential quintuple. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be the main focus of yes. the next week's episode. We'll be reviewing the entire series of quintessential quintuplets. A half um, blind review. A half if you blind. Will. A half blind review, in, yeah. indeed. Um, that's a series that I love so much. So it's gonna be uh, fun picking yeah, up. Yeah, the Half Blind review series. Me too. You guys should check it out too. The Half Blind One Piece review series that yeah. we're doing on our channel. Um, but nonetheless, Sorry. we'll have that. Writ- writ- no, that's okay. Ha- ha- plug, shameless plug. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sell, sell, sell the merch that uh, we don't have. The merch, the merch. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll be providing you guys uh, with all that good stuff. Oh yeah. Go check out the Quintessential Quintuplets uh, film review that should be out by now. Oh uh, yeah. As of this release. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nonetheless, we'll see you guys next week. And that's pretty much it. I approve this message. I'm Ben. And I'm Edgar. See you next week. See you next week. (laughs) (laughs) Was I supposed to say something? No.